Hey everyone, Carl here with Water Wisdom, sponsored by waterfilters.net. I want to emphasize here how important it is to regularly change the filters in these first three canisters. A regular replacement schedule is what's going to protect your RO membrane. Now remember, it's that RO membrane that makes this system unique. It's also the most expensive filter in your system. Typically, you'll only have to replace it every two years, especially if you are diligent about changing the other canisters more often. So, for example, whereas you're only changing this every two years, you may change that first canister, the first stage sediment filter, your P5, which is a reasonably inexpensive filter, every two months. That will protect the filters further down line. And likewise, the carbon filters, which remove chlorine. Now, your RO membrane is highly allergic to chlorine. You don't want any chlorine once it gets to that stage of the RO system. Regularly replacing the carbon filters will protect the life of your RO membrane itself. So be sure to set up a regular replacement schedule, and that will greatly maximize your RO system. It may be helpful in thinking about the reverse osmosis system to imagine draining cooked food, say spaghetti or pasta or a vegetable, instead of just dumping the cooked food directly into a standard colander, you're putting it through increasingly fine sieves, with each sieve having smaller and smaller openings or holes for the material to pass through. The same thing is happening in, happening in an RO system, with each stage having a more complex filter to reduce finer and smaller contaminants. In fact, after the fourth stage, or the membrane stage itself, many systems will have a final stage, in this case an inline carbon filter, known as a polishing filter, just before the drinking water goes from your storage tank to the reverse osmosis dedicated faucet on your kitchen sink. That will even more finely reduce any remaining contaminants and give your water a very clean, crisp taste. So as you can see, RO systems will provide a very high quality of water. Now there are a number of other videos available in the Water University section of waterfilters.net that deal with other issues specific to RO systems, including installation and troubleshooting any specific concerns you may have about the proper functioning of your RO system, commonly asked questions. There's also a video on how to use a TDS meter, which is a helpful tool in evaluating how well your RO system is functioning. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids, and you can use this after the tank, when the water comes out of the dedicated faucet, to check in a glass of your drinking water to make sure that you're receiving virtually no total dissolved solids. It should be a very low number coming out of your RO system. There's a video specifically about the TDS meter. With such a small number of total dissolved solids in your water, you're receiving a very high quality of pure, clean drinking water for you to enjoy. As you can see, an RO system reduces so many more impurities than a standard activated chlorine filter that you might find in a water filter pitcher in your fridge. You can really get the highest quality of water. I would recommend that you take a look at the RO systems available at waterfilters.net and see if that would be something that you would appreciate having in your home. This has been Carl for waterfilters.net. Thanks for watching.